Living in a rural community, is it really more environmentally friendly? What most people think of when they think of a rural lifestyle. But what people don't think about are the struggles that rural Americans face that extend far and wide. Most people living in a rural area do not have easy access to basic things like fresh food, medical care, or educational opportunities. Due to the scarcity of resources, people are forced to drive longer distances for basic things because there is no public transportation option either. The strong dependency on cars combined with longer distances to and from destination all add up to greater CO2 emissions in the area. Rural Americans also have extremely high poverty rates and addiction rates due to lack of job opportunities and other health resources. Cottagecore is a term for the fashion aesthetic built around the romanticized image of the rural living made popular in the 2010s. The distortion of the rural reality is perpetuated by social media and celebrity fashion. More than four times as many people live in urban areas in the United States. In 2020, 57 million people were living rurally, while 273 million lived in urban areas. The population divide means that most people are not exposed to rural living, allowing for this romanticism to continue. Logistical problems are environmental problems. People who live in rural areas live an average of two times the miles away from vital resources like medical centers or grocery stores. Distance between resources forces those living in rural areas to drive from 3,000 to 5,000 miles more on average in a year than those living in a city, which contributes greatly to carbon emissions. Many rural areas lack trash pickup systems, which means that residents are responsible for properly disposing their own waste. This system leaves a lot of room for improper disposals of trash, such as dumping into waterways and dumping in open areas where plants and animals could be harmed. Lack of education and other opportunities. Educational resources are a major issue in rural areas. Getting to and from school can cause issues for families who live far away from town centers, which generally leads to low attendance. Maintaining teachers in these areas is also a challenge, which often results as a teacher shortage. Reliable internet access also causes major issues for those living rurally. Small town centers generally do not provide many job opportunities to locals. And even if there are a few job openings, the average household income is around 4% lower than those living in urban areas with more work options. Rural areas provide opportunities for hard labor, such as farming, mining, and construction. These hard labor jobs are hard on the body and make for an intense career. Interview highlights with a rural town local. What is the most frustrating part of living, living rurally? Part of me loves the limited access of the area. It limits the growth and tourism potential but lack of good paying jobs in the area is very frustrating as our family continues to grow. Are you able to work in town? No, I have to drive about 45, 40 minutes outside of town to find work that pays me well enough. How far is the closest medical center? The closest hospital is about 45 minutes away, although we do have a rescue squad in town. What is your favorite part about living rurally? My favorite part is having space for animals, gardening, and my children to play outside. Would you use public transportation if you had the choice? Public transportation would be life-changing for us and for the town. It would also help with the high DUI rates as well. Why do you stay? I stay in this area because my family has spent generations here. Family tradition is important to me. Making changes. Contact local rural governments. Community input can impact fiscal budgets. Let your voices be heard. Stop spreading the idealistic image of rural living and share the realities and hardships so that maybe positive change can grow in underserved communities.
Support small businesses and rural community farms. They need your support far more than any corporation.